I want to set the scene for you. We're going to have Troy give you a good look of what we're looking at. This is the ESPN College Game Day set. They've already started letting the students in through what's called the pit. About 500 people get in through there. And we are about an hour and a half away from the big broadcast. You can see the snow, the cold, not deterring anybody here. This is a huge day for Western Michigan University and Kalamazoo as a whole. The football team 10-0, 14th in the nation. Really quite a magical run. But, Alan, as we've been saying throughout the morning, maybe not so magical is this weather. Now, you have to give, you know, <laughs> Michigan credit. We're used to this. This right. isn't stopping right. the students or the fans. But uh, that said... It's, it's pretty chilly out here, and that, that snow is starting to, you know, when the wind picks up, it whips right across. It does. It really does. So it's not only the wind, it's the fact that you kind of have um, this damp layer to your clothes. <laughs> exactly. So make sure that you're prepared for that. The snow is going to be falling. It's not going to be sticking all that much, and you're going to get snow bands like we see with Lake Effect snow. So make sure you're dressing warmly because it is quite cold. And remember, this happened basically overnight. Yesterday, we had a high of 70. Today, our high officially 40 degrees, and we're we're going to be falling from that high temperature as we go through the day into the 30s. So here's what to expect. You can see those lake effect snow bands whipping across the lake as we speak. We're going to continue to see a full transition over to snow. This is the first snow of the season for many counties. And because we have the wind and the snow combined, we do have our first winter weather advisory for Lakeshore areas, Nuevo County and Kalamazoo County. Here's a look at some of those temperatures. Again, a lot of 30s, but our wind chills are in the 20s in a lot of areas. And if we look at your wind speed future cast you can see that that wind stays st sustained through the day around 30 miles per hour with gusts on top of it in the 40 to 50 mile per hour range. So here's your day planner if you're heading on out to game day. It is going to be downright chilly with those temperatures staying cold all through the day. It's going to be cold again tomorrow, but our wind is going to back down. So that's the good news. And that's yeah. going to be the biggest thing that I think people need to prepare for today. Consider moving it into Sangren Hall. They said so far things are good to go, and you can see it looks that way as well. Thanks, Ellen, for that forecast. And what's really a fun part of college game day is what's called the celebrity guest picker. This is typically someone they bring on during the show to make game picks, and it's usually an alum of the university that is being featured on college game day. So we had the chance to talk with the game day crew yesterday and try to pick their brain about who it might be. Take a listen. What to expect with a guest picker? Somebody will be sitting in the chair. How's that? Does that work? <laughs> it's not much, but here's the thing. There have been a number of names being thrown out. Tim Allen, a uh, former football player, is Terry Crews. You see him on the Old Spice commercials. And Greg Jennings. Those are all WMU alums. And also... Derek Jeter, who didn't go to Western, but is from Kalamazoo. A few names we might have to just wait and see until that's revealed during the show. But the reason that the team has gotten so much attention, aside from the fact that they've had a spectacular season, is because of head coach P.J. Fleck. He's turned this team around incredibly in just a short period of time, just a few years, and his motto has been, row the boat. We asked the game day crew about just that. I'm just telling you from being around this and being around the guys and seeing them, they, they're believing it. They, they're buying in. They're rowing the boats. So, I mean, the correct way, not like one on each side like Desmond did on College Football Live today. So They told me I didn't do it right. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm done with rowing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave that to the experts. Probably a good idea for Desmond, but a lot of fun. The crew had a great time. They'll be out here in about an hour and a half. That's when the show kicks off. You can catch ESPN College Game Day from 9 until noon on ESPN. If you're in the area, you really should stop by and see it for yourself. It's an awesome sight. As for the game itself, it's against the Buffalo Bulls. Western is a five-touchdown favorite, but it should still be a fun game. It's expected to be sold out. That's at 3.30. That's on ESPNU. We did check tickets a little earlier this morning and there were only a few left so you definitely want to stop by the ticket office or check online because they're running out and they're running out fast we'll send it back to you in the studio all right and evan we you're a little bit removed from the crowd but you can definitely hear everyone screaming in the background very exciting there right now